The time has come for a big ride. I've got my cross country bike kitted up. I've got enough jelly babies and cereal bars to last me a week. Plus I've got the latest in bike GPS computers from our friends at Garmin, the 1030 plus, to make sure that I find the best trails and don't get lost. Big days out in the saddle are something that I like to challenge myself to do, especially when summer rolls around and I can get planning and plotting the rides, somewhere new to broaden my riding horizons. This year, things have been much closer to home, but that could be a blessing in disguise, the chance to explore the places not so far from home that you've always meant to check out. Today, we're in the Quantox in the southwest of England, an area of outstanding natural beauty and a place I've always wanted to explore. I've seen it in the pages of countless mountain bike magazines, and today is a day for trying to ride as many good trails as possible. I plotted a mega ride on Kamut, starting in the popular riding spot of Triscum and then venturing further into the wilds, using the highlights other people have placed on the map to link trails recommended by others. A perfect mix of old school map plotting, using new school tech and apps to sync it straight to my Garmin. So Garmin originally set me the challenge of, can I outlast the battery of a 1030 plus? Can my legs outlast a unit? And I dug a bit deeper and actually the battery on this lasts 24 hours. So I was like, nah, no chance. There's more things you'd be doing with 24 hours, not just riding a bike. So I've just compromised on a big day out on proper mountain bike trails. I can't wait. I've actually really missed doing some big rides. And I've really missed doing some big rides. Like I don't know how fit I am, but it's gonna be a big long day and I just wanna enjoy it. The new 1030 Plus actually takes away some of the elbow grease and trying to find the best spots. If you're going to locations that you've never ridden before, so just like this, whoa, it's getting technical. I use the commute integration to plot my map and now I'm literally just following the navigation. There's also Garmin mapping, uh, trail forks as well. So you can really try and find the best trails even if you've never been to that spot before. And this is pretty flipping good, if not pretty technical. On the next sea bike. Oh, jealous. If it's going to be a big ride, then I'll carry a lot of food and water, but I might also plan some food stops at cafes, so I definitely don't want to miss a turn. Just double check that the cafe is going to be open, because this one wasn't, but luckily we had enough supplies with us. 
A bit of experience helps with planning big rides. I think especially if you're planning on going hard and fast or racing, you need to get the fueling right and often. But on a much more casual ride like this one, I tend to just carry loads of normal food, things like sandwiches or nuts, and some pick-me-ups like something sweet if I'm feeling tired. I've got a heart rate monitor and a power meter on this bike and they port straight over to the new 1030 plus because they were set up on my old unit so super easy uh, on a big ride like this you could sort of ride to your power meter or your heart rate so you don't go too high i'm not going to bother today and in fact i wouldn't want to see my numbers too much anyway so it's all about the riding today There is of course the old school option of getting the old paper map out and doing it the old fashioned way. Uh, and I can see the appeal to that, but I'd rather do the work pre-ride, sit down with my laptop and a cup of tea and work out my route, stick it onto my computer, and then just crack on with the ride so I'm not getting the map out every turn and second guessing everything I do. Also on the navigation screen on my 1030 Plus, um, I'm following the map obviously, but I've got two figures on there as well so you can sort of customize the screens completely but i've got the distance how far i've been but also the distance to the next point so at the moment i've got 262 meters until the next time i've got to make a turn on the trail hopefully then i won't miss them I've been using this 1030 Plus a bit on my road bike and my mountain bike for the larger screen for navigation. The feature I've used a few times, really handy, is the back to the start. So I just go out for a ride till I'm feeling tired and then I think, right, I want to get back to the start as quick as I can. Press that and it'll give you the option of the, along the same route or the most direct route. So I know I'm going to get home without completely running out of juice. There's a host of safety features like incident detection that can send a message to a contact in case of an accident and live tracking so people can follow your ride and even see your planned route. That's great for solo epics. If you're slightly more social than me, then you can even send messages between devices. So 34 kilometers into the ride, feeling good actually, all right. 1200 meters of climbing. I've just realized, I've stopped to check my map and I've realized that the route I've planned means I go 10K out of the way down to the seaside. And I was planning on getting fish and chips, but it now seems quite extravagant to ride 10 kilometers and ride all the way to the bottom of the hill, fish and chips. So I think I'm gonna save myself a bother, stay on the hillside, save myself a 400 meter climb back up and I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hit the, find me a route back to the start, the most direct route. And hopefully we'll find some more single track trails on the way home. Back to the car, and then I'll get some chips on the drive home.
There we go, made it 45 kilometers, done 1500 meters of climb. Uh, I wouldn't say I was toast, but I'm definitely feeling pretty tired now. Pretty leisurely pace, we're out for seven hours pretty much in the end. Guess how much battery's left? I've got 75% left. So in theory, I could do three more of these days and I wouldn't have to charge this thing. So pretty incredible. Uh, on the 1030 plus now as well, you've got those mountain bike dynamics. So it gives you a grit and the flow score for the ride, just saving it. Uh, also tells you your training status. You can dig in so many details of that. This, so that was an aerobic ride pretty much. Uh, making my base better. Recovery time, 48 hours. So I've got plenty of time to charge this, so I can't ride again. Well, it's recommending that I rest for 48 hours now. This is the biggest ride I've done for a long time. I know it's not crazy by any standards, 45K, but I've not done much riding recently. I know I've done 100 miles in the past, so well over 140, 50K is that. So I know plenty of people will be shouting this screen saying that they could do way bigger rides than that, but for me, that's pretty full on. Calories burned, 2,232. That means large fish and chips on the way home. So stoked by that. Uh, let us know in the comments down below if you're looking forward to getting out and about and doing some big rides. I'm stoked, I really enjoyed that. And actually riding around the woods, I saw so many other trails I could see and on here. So I'll definitely be back and doing some big exploration rides. Thumbs up if you're keen for some big rides.